uh, 845. Well, there may be a little bit of a silver lining about wearing masks over your face. Um, it seems, well, the flu numbers are down, that's for sure, by a lot. Um, and some allergy sufferers say they have fewer symptoms, you know, because of the mask over their nose and mouth. Mm -hmm. So we want to bring in allergists and immunologists. Dr. Sagel, here to explain. Hi, doctor. Hi. Hi, thanks for having me, guys. Of course. So what is the difference then? Because folks, as this weather turns, starting to get those allergy symptoms. Absolutely. I mean, it's going to be another brutal allergy season for allergy sufferers this spring. And typical symptoms are going to be itchy eyes, sneezing, runny nose, congestion. Uh, but when we're in the middle of this pandemic, it's going to put people at unease when they start experiencing those types of symptoms. Yeah, they're going to freak you and know. go, oh, my God, do I have COVID-19? So let's go over right. some of the you, you started there. Look at the difference. Right. Uh, there's a few extra symptoms sure. if you have COVID. Sure. So with any sort of viral illness, you may experience things like fatigue, headache. Um, fever is, you know, more common with COVID-19, and that's not something you're going to experience with seasonal allergy symptoms. And it sounds Any like cough of, is key, too, mm -hmm. the cough. Exactly. Dry cough, you know, um, um, respiratory symptoms in general. Unless you have asthma, you know, allergies aren't going to cause breathing problems. Okay. And then the, the, the big one for COVID, a lot of people lose their taste and, and smell. Correct. You know. Right. And, and that right. wouldn't be it's typical an for an allergy symptom. or a Absolutely right. So we're trying to figure out if we have a cold or if we have sure. the flu or if we have COVID-19. Right, right. And again, if you're having seasonal allergy symptoms and they're the same sorts of symptoms you've experienced last year or the year before. And, you know, again, itching is key. So itchy eyes, sneezing, itchy nose. If it's worse when you're outside and better when you're inside, if it gets better with allergy medications, when you're probably dealing with seasonal allergy symptoms. And if you're concerned, the take the test. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And especially if you have some of those more um, concerning symptoms and more um, full body symptoms or GI symptoms, especially. Okay. Um, have you heard of anybody being, and this is a common question. Sure. Uh, I am allergic to a lot of stuff. I might be allergic to the vaccine. Right. Especially early on, it was a very big concern for people. Uh, people were calling because they had a history of bad seasonal allergies. Perhaps they had a history of food or medication allergies. And fortunately, the incidence of allergic reactions to the vaccines is very low. On average, less than one in 100,000 people. Okay. People who might be at higher risk for severe allergic reactions to the vaccines would be someone who has a known history of an allergic reaction to one of the components of the vaccine. Yeah. or if they had an allergic reaction to perhaps their first dose of the vaccine, um, or if they've reacted to other vaccines in the past or other injectable medications. And you would know who you are when it comes to that. What's the Correct. most common allergy in, the, in the, uh, the Delaware Valley, let's say? Well, at this time of year, what people are suffering with is tree pollen allergies. Trees. And, and those levels are gonna get really high. Um, because of these nice, beautiful, warm, sunny days and higher temperatures. Um, so levels are just going to continue to rise as we go through the season. And the season's going to be long. Oh, well, oh it's going to be long. Yeah, well, that's great. good to know. <laughs> At least we've been warned. Doc, thanks. Hey, by the way, thanks doctor, for before me. you go, I know you're sure. an allergist. Yes. We're going to do a story next about something called dead butt syndrome. It's from sitting too much on Zoom calls. You ever heard of that? No, but I'm, I can't wait to hear more. Well, don't move because we're going to do it after the break. Well, is that in the nine? That's the problem. We're not moving. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sammy, is that in the nine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be at 915, doctor. Uh, Great. I'll, so. be in, I'll be staying in tuned. All right. Okay. Tuned Thank you. In. Hope Thanks you don't have any patience because don't, don't, don't make them wait. <laughs> How about that stethoscope of his? That's a, it's very bright. Nice color. For spring. Yeah. First spring, Take that's care. right. Oh, see?